Hey, what's up guys? Mint City here back again with another video. And today we are going to be showing you guys my top 10 mobile games of 2018. These are gonna be in no particular order. Make sure to like and sub uh, to the channel if this helps you guys at all. Uh, hopefully it helps you guys find some great games to play after the holidays and throughout next year. But anyways, let's get right into it. Brawl Stars. Supercell caught lightning in a bottle twice with their games Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. They've remained hits for a while now and Brawl Stars is yet another solid catch for Supercell. It's simple concept, tight controls, and incredible art design make it a fun twin stick shooter to play with friends. It also doesn't hurt that Brawl Stars is Supercell's most free to play friendly game to date. It's one of the best multiplayer offerings this year in my opinion. Epic 7. You guys know that gacha games are my guilty pleasure, and Epic 7 Should is I no exception. The production values Bye -bye. of this game are top notch, and the animations are astounding. Some may be turned off by its anime art style, but there is some insane, insanely deep combat to be had in this unit collecting gem. The rates are abysmal, but you get a free summon per day, generous portions of free premium currency, and a perfect mix of autoplay and extremely strategic gameplay. My only complaint is that there is so much content contained within Epic 7 that you never feel like you can do it all. And trust me, I want to do it all. Grim Valor. This game is a gorgeous 2D hack and slash romp akin to Dark Souls in a strange way. The difficulty level is just right and you constantly feel like you are making progress, whether it be upgrading your character or improving your skills at bashing baddies. If you enjoy action games, this is a no-brainer. Be ready for some awesome bosses that will totally kick your butt. Don't say I didn't warn you. It also has controller support. Oddmar. This is by far the best 2D platformer on the App Store this year, if not ever. There is some beautiful 2D artwork in this game and a ton of personality and charm. The music is fantastic and the controls are smooth, and you will wish the game was longer by the time you finish it. This is a premium experience through and through. If you like platformers, don't you dare hesitate in getting this. It also has controller support. Suzy Cube. For those of you who enjoyed Super Mario 64, Suzy Cube is the closest thing you'll get to Nintendo's classic 3D platformer on the App Store. The touch controls are perfectly simple and it gives off incredibly cute visual vibes. There are numerous levels with things to collect and platforming to perfect. Yet another solid choice for you platformer fans out there. It also has controller support. Wonder Blade. Any fans of Castle Crashers will feel right at home while playing Wonder Blade. It's basically the exact same thing except it's on mobile and a bit gorier. But is that a bad thing? Absolutely not. This is a classic, fantastic 2D brawler with a lot of style, a lot of action, and a whole lot of value for its price tag. It also has controller support. Stardew Valley. If you haven't heard of Stardew Valley, you've been living under a rock. It has one of the most boring sounding premises for a game, but it ends up having one of the most addictive progression loops of any game I've ever played. Mobile is truly the best way to play this game in my opinion. The only reason you shouldn't get this farming slash sim game is because it will suck too much of your time away. It also has controller support. Meteor Fall. Card games are always a hit or a miss for me, but Meteor Fall was such a big hit that it left a crater. It's a deck building roguelike game that has a per perfect mix of luck and strategy. The art style is extremely unique, its sound design is perfect, and it nails the one more time addiction of roguelike games. It provides a ton of bang for your buck and they've add new added new content to it since its release. You can't go wrong with this one if you enjoy card games without all of the in-app purchase shenanigans. Fortnite. Do I even need to explain this one? It came to mobile this year, so that's why it's on this list. I know it's getting annoying how hyped this game is, and it seems to be everywhere you look on the internet, especially YouTube. However, it's pretty incredible that mobile devices can handle such a big game. And trust me, playing cross-platform with people on every other system is one of the coolest experiences I have ever had in gaming. 
RuneScape Classic. This is an absolutely amazing MMORPG that is free to play on the App Store. This was my first MMORPG that I ever played, and I still think it's the best. Uh, that's obviously my opinion, but I highly suggest that you guys try it out. It's very grindy, but that's what makes the progression so rewarding. But anyways, it's just better than ever on mobile, and it's even cross-platform. So if your buddies play on PC, it doesn't even matter. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like and pop a sub if you enjoyed or if this helped you out at all. Hopefully, you guys find some mobile games in this list that you can enjoy as much as I have enjoyed these games. But anyways, thanks so much for watching and take it easy.